Hey guys, how's it going? So when we're in the process of flipping this house, this is uh, going to be a rental property and um, uh, these wooden planks uh, were the walls. I don't know if you can tell by looking, but I'll try to come over this way a little bit. As you can see, uh, they're about, I don't know, eight to 10 to 12 inch planks. Uh, and all of the walls in this house uh, were made of these planks. So we decided instead of ripping them out, we would um, just fill them, uh, the cracks with sheetrock mud to uh, make them look like sheetrock instead of ripping them out and putting drywall in. Uh, so we got everything uh, mudded and sanded and, um, and, and textured. We w went over all the walls with a texture gun and got everything ready for paint. And we come back in a few days later and keep in mind that the temperature just dropped as we're entering December, or we are in December now, so the temperature has dropped about 30 degrees um, where we're at, and we're now running heat. But along all the walls, these large cracks in between all of the planks uh, have appeared um, from floor to ceiling uh, in every room where these planks are at. We did sheet, we did uh, sheetrock a couple of rooms, but anyway, so um, wasn't sure exactly what to do um, to keep from having to rip them all out and drywall them because uh, we knew that just painting over them or mudding over them, they would crack again. So uh, what, what I've done, um, as you can see here just a little bit, um, it's still kind of a prominent crack, but it won't be um, as I've, I've went and purchased some big stretch white caulking and uh, I just put it in a little uh, paint can cup like that and uh, with a little uh, spreading knife I'm just uh, filling the holes uh, the cracks the best that I can um, and once it dries I will paint over it um, uh, with um, primer um, and then paint the walls and hopefully uh, they will no longer be viewable, any of the cracks. And so um, I've already done this room quite a bit. Um, as you can see, the cracks are no longer prominent. There's a little bit there as that is drying. I don't know if you can make that out on camera. But you can still kind of see the crack just a little bit. But after it dries, uh, if it needs a little more of the um, caulking, then I will continue to fill it with a little more caulking um, to get it where the hole is um, more filled in. And here's one right here that's, I haven't done this one yet, but as you can see, uh, this was going from floor to ceiling uh, all throughout the house. So I am going to uh, stop the video as is and I will report back uh, just as soon as the walls are painted and let you know how it turned out. All right, thanks. Okay, so I thought I would come back in and just show you what I'm doing here. Uh, just taking uh, the knife with the caulking on it and just spreading it like sheetrock mud. Just the best I can to kind of fill that crack. I'm sorry, I don't have a tripod with me. In order to video turn out any better than it is but you kind of get the idea and I'll put just a little bit more sorry it's hard to do this and hold the camera at the same time I'll kind of go this way for helping to fill the bridge of the crack just a little bit better by going this way due to the valley. a lot better and once it dries and I prime over it and texture over it hopefully 
it will never crack again as this big stretch caulking is supposed to uh, stretch and shift around with the house. I don't know that it's advertised to actually uh, do this type of job, but we're gonna try it out anyway because it sure beats ripping out the whole house and putting in drywall. So we're gonna hope for the best. I'm going to let everything dry and I'm gonna paint it and I will start the video again in a couple of days to see if any more cracks appear. Uh, and if they do, as long as it's not any severe cracking, we'll just go through and, uh, and fill them up and, uh, and touch up our paint and, uh, we'll hope for the best. So, uh, stay tuned and I will report back. Okay guys. So I wanted to show you, this is the other bedroom. Um, and of course there were cracks going up and down, uh, the walls from floor to ceiling. And we just puttied in the big stretch caulking and uh, this has been done for about an hour now so there's still a little bit of drying to take place but as you can tell uh, we textured the wall and there's where the caulking is I don't know if you can see that <clears throat> but we'll go through and and retexture and we may need to go over this area right here one more time it's uh, just a little bit uh, more prominent but we're letting the caulking kind of dry and then going over it just a, a little more where it needs to be. But man, I tell you, if this works, this is sure going to be um, a godsend because we did not want to have to tear uh, about 80% of this house out and uh, put in drywall. So again, we're hoping for the best, but man, it turns out so far it's looking really good. Uh, and this is just one of our rental properties. This is not uh, a house that we're going to sell anytime in the future. Uh, probably not for the next 20 or 30 years. So um, I think it's turning out pretty good once we get paint on it. And as long as it doesn't crack again, because the big stretch caulking is supposed to stretch uh, whenever your house moves and shifts around the closet there. But new wiring and stuff but i wish i had started this video when we first started this project and made a series out of it but uh we've got another house lined up to uh to do once we finish this one and so maybe i'll make some videos um uh, showing what we're doing there uh, this is just kind of a really uh cheap diy uh landlord trick uh, for somebody who's just looking for a quick fix um and of course, the right thing would have been to drywall the whole thing, but um, we were just trying to get in and get out as fast as we could. So um, this is just a little time saver, a little money saver, uh, and we're, we're going to hope that this works. So this is my first time trying this. Uh, I was desperately looking for any kind of a solution uh, to solve this problem, and uh, and I think we finally found it. Um, and uh, yeah, so... I'll report back and show you after it's painted. Hey guys, so it's been 24 hours since I put the uh, big stretch caulking on the crack and you can kind of see uh, where I put it in there and kind of worked it in. Now you can see that you can kind of see a crack right there going all the way up and down, but that crack is filled with the caulking. So once, uh, once I cover that with Kills 2 primer, um, it will not be uh, able to be seen anymore um, as far as the indention of the crack. Um, now that's a little bit darker there, but again, it is filled. Sorry about the camera. It is filled uh, with the caulking all the way up and down. And this is throughout the whole house here. Um, and this, this is another area over here. Let me see if I can find it here. The electricity is off, so I don't really have much light, but you can see the panels there. And the cracks were up and down along all the walls uh, where those panels are at. So if you're thinking about budding these type of <clears throat> wooden uh, click lock panels uh, that are in older homes, I would not do it. Uh, I would just tear it out and put in drywall. But uh, I think we've gotten lucky here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's not anything showing. Um, we did drywall that wall right there that is drywall um, over here was a more profound crack that right there is not a crack that's just a mark on the wall and then right here was a 
a really profound crack and I don't know if you can see that on camera but uh, there is not a crack there anymore sorry for the terrible view uh, and we'll check the other room here <clears throat> This right here was a well-defined crack. I don't know if you can see. And then all along above this window was all cracked up and below the window was all cracked up. <clears throat> so you can see it's still, I didn't patch down there because we want to cover that up with uh, That's just some dirt on the wall there. And this right here. See, there is no more crack at all. No no definition of any crack whatsoever. Uh, I believe that's all drywall there. No cracks anywhere. So I'm gonna cover this up with primer. Here's one that was really defined. I don't know if you can see it yet. Kind of light here, I apologize. But again, this crack is not moving at all uh, the way that it was. And once we prime that, cover that with primer, then that crack will no longer be defined at all. And there was one going across this way. Of course, that sheetrock there, I just the guy did a bad mud job there but yeah so far so good uh really liking what the big stretch has done i believe it's going to rescue us out of this uh dilemma here and uh we'll hope for the best so i'll report back after primer and then show you what it looks like after paint and we'll see if it uh, truly covered it up and if the cracks come back over the next few days Thanks. Hey guys, I just wanted to give a quick update as I'm over here working on this. You can see right there the big stretch caulking. Uh, I figured out why the little bit of a line keeps showing up. It's because the caulking is shrinking uh, into the hole. So it does shrink uh, just a little bit. But what I've noticed is, is I'll go back over it um, after it shrinks and cures. Um, and then it begins to look, let me see if I can find one. More like that right there. You can no longer see a crack line. Maybe just a tiny, tiny bit right there going up. Just a tiny, tiny bit. But again, once we texture over this, see how it's kind of shrunk down in that crack a little bit. Uh, but once we texture over this, then uh, you will not notice uh, those cracks at all. And the reason why we're not just taping and mudding is because I fully expect um, these boards to keep cracking over time, uh, unfortunately. So I'm trying to fill all the gaps with caulking now that stretches uh, to help prevent uh, uh, quite a bit of the uh, cracking from happening, hopefully. Uh, whereas if I just um, tape over it and mud over it, I feel like that it'll continue to, to crack worse. And if this doesn't solve the problem, uh, come back in here in another couple of days and uh, they continue to crack uh, with the caulking in there, uh, then I guess I will just rip all the walls out and put in sheetrock. I've thought about doing wallpaper, um, but I don't really want to go that route. Um, this is a rental property, so we'll probably just end up sheetrocking. Uh, everywhere where there is sheetrock, we've had no problems with any cracking at all, like this wall and this wall. It's just the walls with those boarded planks are the ones that keep cracking. And here's a really good shot of those planks, if you can see. Uh, yeah, I would never recommend mudding over those to try to get rid of her to try to make the walls flat so anyway back at it hey guys so it's been a few days and i've come back in the house and uh this is what i've been greeted with more cracks have formed up and down these walls that's a big thick crack right there and again these walls are made out of these 10 i'd say about 10 inch 
wooden planks um, that we've just put drywall mud over and tried to make the walls uh, as smooth as possible to look like drywall. I will say that I will never do this again. Next time I will just indeed cut out these wood planks and replace with drywall. Uh, however, I'm still uh, going to go over these uh, new cracks that have formed with the big stretch caulking and hope for the best. Uh, this is a crack that we filled with the big stretch, as you can see. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. And uh, it filled it quite nicely. When we cover it up with paint, there's one right there. You can see the crack, the crack is prominent, but it is filled with the big stretch caulking. And whenever we go back over this and texture over it, uh, you will not see that crack any longer. Uh, going on up the wall, more crack has formed up this way. See how thick that is, wow. Uh, and I'm gonna continue to fill it with the big stretch caulking. Just got a little paint cup, squirted it in there with a little uh, trial knife. And I'm just gonna stick it in there and let it cure for 24 hours. And uh, hopefully this is the end of the cracking. It's winter time here, it is December 2020. Uh, the temperature has been dropping here in Arkansas. We've been seeing in the 30s at night and even the 20s. And well, even with the heater on, it's still causing lots and lots of cracks. So I'm uh, going to fill these and check back in a day or two and hope for the best. Hey, guys, I wanted to jump back on and show you the difference uh, between the wall with the, the little shrinkage right there. You see it? The caulking inside the crack shrink. And then I go back over it again and you can see it's completely disappeared. So I just wanted to jump back on and show that. So, man, I'm hoping this works. This is gonna be a lifesaver. So, all right, I'll report back in. Hey guys, so it's uh, been about another week on since I put the big stretch on the cracks. And I come in today um, and I, I went ahead and painted because I'm trying to hurry and get this house done. Uh, I still got some touching up to do. Um, but this is, this is what you can see. I don't, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that's the line that used to be a crack from the top to the bottom. Um, and the caulking, it really needed to be retextured or smoothed out a little bit better. I tried to use a, uh, a large felt roller to roll over it, hoping that it would kind of texture it a little bit, but you can still see the cracks, um, uh, going through the room. I still got to paint around the trim. Um, but see there, that's pretty prominent there. I don't know if you can tell on camera, see how it's going from top to bottom. Um, so it is showing through the paint. I wish I would have went ahead and textured. I still may go ahead and texture and paint it again. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to hurry up and get this house done. Um, but as you can see, that's the sheetrock side there and, uh, no cracks at all on the sheetrock. It's, it's just these boards up here that's, that's cracked. So if you're ever dealing with these boards, um, don't mud them and paint over them. Just either put sheetrock over them or tear them out and put sheetrock. Unless you know uh, something I don't know, um, if there's any tips or tricks that you may have to uh, keep those from cracking, um, leave them in the comments because I'd love to, uh, to, to know what to do. <laughs> I'm not a professional by any means. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep the cracking from happening, trying to keep from having to do sheetrock. So anyway, that's probably the last update I'll do on the big stretch caulking in the cracks. Um, it did hide the cracks very well. Um, it's just that you have to deal with that if you don't texture over it. So anyway, um, this is the room thus far. Uh, still got to lay the floor down, still got to paint, or excuse me, put the ceiling fan up. I did do another video on painting these tiles. I uh, just took a roller and put Kills 2 on the tiles. They were yellowing and old looking and just dungy looking and now they're nice and bright white. Um, so this is uh, hopefully going to turn out really nicely when we get the floor down and trim up. All right, thanks for watching. Hey guys, so I wanted to include a picture of what the walls look like before. These are the planks. These are before we touched them. They didn't look too bad, but they had been painted over multiple times throughout the years and uh, the paint was just globbed up on them um, especially on the trim it was just so thick and uh, it looked terrible so um, that's why we wanted to try to flatten the walls and make them look like sheetrock 
Overall, would I do it again? Probably not. Um, but uh, at the same time, um, I did not want to cover them with sheetrock uh, or rip them out. So, um, which I still may end up having to do, as stated before. I don't really know at this point. We'll just see in the next couple of days uh, since I've painted how everything looks. Um, and then we'll make a decision what to do. So, was this the best idea going with the uh, caulking ideal to fill in the cracks for this particular project? Probably not. Uh, I would not recommend it unless you know something that I don't. And again, leave any comments down below with any tips or tricks that you may have. Um, I'm hoping that once we get the baseboard on and the crown molding up, that it will help to uh, stabilize these boards a little better where they won't be moving quite so much. We'll see how that turns out. So thanks for watching um, and uh, good luck with your project.